Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys today on how to make a coupon that looks like this. If you guys have a uh, local based business, in this case, uh, we're using an HVAC business as an example. And I just wanted to show you real quick how to make something like this. It's real simple, real professional. You don't have to send this uh, out to, you don't have to send this out to a graphic artist. Find a graphic artist, somebody that's probably going to charge you a couple hundred bucks just to do something like this and probably take a, a week to get back with you and actually get you something that you can use. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description. You guys can actually get this page and uh, get the, uh, the the document that I'm going to work on here um, where I created this. And then you guys will be able to edit that and make use of it. Or you can just create your own because I'm going to show you real quick how to do that uh, within the next few minutes. So I use a program called Keynote. Um, it looks like, like this. It's, you know, I've got a couple different coupons in here so basically I create it and then when I'm done I literally just screenshot the the coupon itself and then add that into the uh, click funnels into the program there and then use it it's it's pretty simple it's real easy um, I'm actually gonna start from scratch here and just show you real quick how to do that so um, I'm going to go to add slide go to blank so we have a literally a fresh start if you're in here you can use PowerPoint you should be able to go to PowerPoint on a PC and do the same thing. So I'm just going to create um, a shape uh, real quick here. Just a real simple coupon shaped shape here. And I'm going to make it so it's halfway decent size so we get a good resolution out of it. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to format. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to go to style, format, style. And then I'm going to go to fill, image fill, because I'm going to want to put a picture in there. That actually did it for me because that was the last picture that I was working with. Um, you will have to choose that image if you don't, or whatever image you want if you haven't put something in there. But that was the last thing that I was working with, which is why it is there. So we don't want to write on this. That's a little bit vibrant. It's in your face. So what we're going to do is just scroll down at the bottom. And we're going to bring the opacity down so that we can write over the top of that. Now, in order to get the, uh, the coupon-like uh, kind of the dash line around the side of it, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of putting a border on this image, because uh, it'll just make it opaque if, uh, if we use it on there. So what we're going to do is actually create a new shape. And uh, for that, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to use this. And we're going to just wrap, literally just wrap it around uh, just like that. And now we have a border. All it is is its own separate border, but you never know it was its own separate border. We're going to come here, change the... Uh, Let's see, format, the style, change the style on that to, I think I've got the wrong one selected. There we go. I've got the outline. Make sure you have the outline selected. So we're going to change that to uh, kind of a, a vibrant red. We're going to change the size a little bit. And we're going to change the t style type to dashed. No, it's dashed. It's a real uh, clean, real professional. If, if you don't like how it looks, then uh, you can make a few changes. You can make it hug the picture line there. Um, I think it looks pretty good the way that it is right there. Now you're going to want to put the information in. You can put the information on the inside of there. Um, so let's say you want a, a headline in there, like a free fall checkup if you're HVAC in it. Um, then come over here, type that in there, center it up. I get OCD. I got to have everything centered and centered and balanced. <laughs> so just put, hey, it's free fall checkup. And remember, this is going to end up uh, right here, it's going to look like somewhat like this when it when it's done, right? So you can put it into your website. Uh, from there, you probably want to have uh, maybe a little block like this. Okay, that block was created with a simple. Let's see, it, it was this block right here. Just, I put this in here because it makes it easier to read. It just looks more professional. So just put something in there, make it look halfway decent. It doesn't take very long. Type in the text that you want. I'm just going to copy this over from this particular one, copy it right on in here, make it about the right size so it fits. And, and that's it. Make sure that it reads what you want it to, to read. If you need to move it around and get all perfection-y about it, it takes like two seconds uh, to do that. Um, what if you want to put a caveat on this? Free fall checkup when you get a, a free filter or when you buy a per when, with the purchase of a filter or a free fall checkup uh, for the next five days only. And then you could say, you know, let's copy that over um, just because or, or you can just create a new text block. I, I've already done a lot of this. And just for your sake, I want to make this real simple, real easy so you guys can follow along with it. So we'll just say, hey, free fall checkup with the purchase of a new air filter 
or uh, you know whatever it is that you guys want to put in there. So um, another thing that you guys can do, you can put the expiration date in there if you want to do that. Um, alternatively, if you want to add like a a little a line in there, you can add the lines in there. It looks a little more professional to add that in there. It's a it's a subtle touch, but it's a good subtle touch. So you could do that, or the other way to do that is just to simply just add a line. It's just a shape. Bam, just add a line like that. See, that's all it is. And then you know, stretch it out, put it where you want it. I'm just going to leave that one. But that's how you do it. And uh, that was it. That was it. It took me probably less than two minutes to do that. Now, if you want to, you can put these little scissors in there and make it look a little more coupon-like. But I'm not going to do that today. You can find those on like Google Images. Just find some clip art. Um, I'm not going to do that because it would actually uh, extend the white the whiteness of it, and it wouldn't look right on this particular image. As you'll notice, I did not use the uh, the scissors on this particular image. So if you're going to download this and put in something different on here, then uh, it, you don't want to use the scissors um, unless you have a way to make it transparent. This will not be transparent when you create this. It will have that white background. So uh, I'm going to come here. That's the finished product for, for now. And I'm going to do a command shift um, four, and that'll allow me to do a screenshot. So we're just going to hug, literally just hug the sides of this and screenshot this so that, uh, it looks like a coupon and then check this out, go to my screenshot on the desktop and that's it. That's, that's what my, uh, that looks pretty good actually. So let's, we're going to rename that HVAC coupon six, as you notice, I have another one in there and, um, that was how that one looks. We're going to go back in here i'm going to show you if you're using click funnels go to this funnel click on that click on the Im click on the image and then click on this we're going to upload the new coupon hvac coupon six it takes a minute to upload but you can create like five or six of these with different offers different bribes that you have and then as you scroll through the year and have different offers that are available at different times you know, you could have a Halloween special, a Christmas special, a springtime special, a fall time special. Um, y you name it. Whatever reason you want to come up with, you can have it. Over here in the top left is where that pops up. I'm going to double click it. And there it is. It's uh, officially our new coupon and it actually looks better than the old one. So uh, that worked out pretty well. And you guys, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to save this. And when you guys download this, it'll look like this. I'll also give you guys the download link for uh, this uh, this little thing right here so you guys don't have to start from from scratch you guys can actually come in here and edit this and do what you want with it so that's my gift to you guys click on the link and down in the description and uh, and go to town if you guys are HVAC this is perfect for you if you guys are some other kind of home service based business just make sure you get a different picture to throw in there um, if you guys are any other kind of service based business the same thing will work to get you leads in your business and this whole uh, this whole campaign, this whole project, this whole scenario will work out perfectly for you. And uh, you, you guys can use the same thing uh, for your business. That's all I've got. Give us a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Check out the description for more information. And uh, subscribe to our channel if you guys would like to see more videos like this. This is Matt King with Funnel.Works. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.